by Boosh. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. I might use that, that a bit more just because it is really fun and powerful. Oh yeah, more damage. Might be worth going for that actually. Although I'm going to have to see how much Iridium I, I actually have. So, I do want to do some research. Upgrade our shit. That'll be really, really fun. Won't it? Yes, it will. Let's go and do that now, actually. Hello. Is uh, there anything? Bat, 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 anything else? Shit. Take care. What about this? Um, no. None. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at research. Anything? Well, yeah. But we really need to put in some... Yeah, we're going to have to mine for some more Iridium. Yay, joy. <laughs> Basically. Oh yeah, go for that. Why not? Yep, that'll do, that'll do very nicely. Shields, why not? Uh, no, armor. Um, go for all the tech stuff. More tech. All the tech. Every little bit of tech. I do want some Metagel upgrades. Three is not quite enough in my opinion. <laughs> Damage protection unlocked. Okay. Fair enough. Ah, Unity heals your squad to full health. Hmm, that might be helpful. Yeah, why not? Why not? I see no reason not to. There we go. Uh, skin weave. Krogan vitality. Ah! Heavy muscle weave. But more melee attacks. Okay. Sorry, stronger melee attacks. Hmm, okay. I'm pretty down with that. Yeah, why not? Got a lot of research there. Hello, Morden. Shepard, how can I help you? Not a good time. Trying to map contamination vectors requires focus. Shipwide infection of human tailored virus possible if I slip. Anything oh. else? Yeah, I kind of agree with Edie. Some of your experiments are kind of insane, Morden. <laughs> I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that is all of Morden's dialogue now. No more after that. Hello, Jacob. Commander. I want to talk about you. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. Hell yeah, buddy. We'll talk later. Commander. And that is all of Jacob's dialogue done. All of it. <laughs> He's never going to go any further than that. So, uh, Miranda... Um... Nah, let's let, let's just go off and do the next one, the next loyalty mission. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five more. Okay. Um, I want to go for Tali's. Let's go and do Tali's and and then call it a night. That'll be fun, won't it? Yes, you will, Jamie. Oh, yes, you know what I mean. I love you, per random person I totally do not know. Unless you're someone I do know and you're doing that kind of voice anyway, then what the fuck, man? Why are you making that voice? Go away! You weirdo! You gay! No, nothing wrong with that. There we are. <laughs> Mass relay. Tali! The Valhallen Threshold. Okay. Let's go over there, shall we? Haboosh! Off to the flotilla we go. There it is, the migrant fleet. Around two stars with no planets. That sounds very lonely. <laughs> the migrant fleet. A fleet of 50,000 spacecraft holding over 17 million quarians. Holy shit. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in known galaxy. Though Quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the Quarian ships. And now we're going to do that, because fuck you.
Yay. Uh, the decisions you make in Mass Effect 2 could have a dire ramifications in Mass Effect 3. Um, maybe? But not on, not on a certain few things in case you haven't heard all about, you know, everything that goes on in... Ah, shut, shut up. You know what I mean. Combat drone and AI hacking. So... No reason not to have Garrus here. Oh, Garrus. Oh, I love you, Garrus. Uh, Boosh. Hmm. Armor piercing. I do kind of want to go for overload. Just because that'll be very helpful, especially here. Turian Rebel. Hmm. You know what? Why not? Why not? That'll be fun. Pulse now damages synthetic enemies so brutally that they explode on death. Yeah, pretty... Pretty dodgy. Um... Yeah, go for area overload. You have increased your pulse of strength to cover, cover a wide area, making it easy to hit multiple targets. Bomb! There we are. And now for you, Tali. Uh... We do want combat drone and we do want AI hacking. There we are. Um, explosive drone. When the combat drone is destroyed, it pulses energy, inflicting high damage. So, so it's electric shock damages targets, health, armor, and biotic barriers. Limit is one active drone at a time. I mean that is very helpful. It's very useful for diverting enemy enemy fire. So yeah, why not? Why not? Um, let me have a look at this. Pulse radius, pulse damage, drone damage. Um, hmm. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Why not? Attack drone will go very handy. And babushki. Okay, let's see what you need here, buddy. Hmm. Let's put you with... Keep you with that. Actually, I think you, you can go with that there. And go for that. There we are. He's very rapid fire heavy. That's actually not very useful when used in AI um, hands. Just because when you use that yourself as a player, you actually have a homing ability for the Geth Plasma sh Shotgun, so... It's not very useful for Tali. But... Get her up close and this thing will shred. So yeah, why not? But I want to give her the Predator pistol. Just because that has a very low ammo capacity. Yeah, we're pretty good here. I am very happy with the, with the setup I've got here though. Yeah, why not? Let's go for that. Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Well, I... Hmm. I do owe Tali a great deal. Just because one, she's best waifu, and two, she's awesome. Tali helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tali. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. 
That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Wait, you did what? You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Ah, oh, I want to go to the garden. I bet it would be well nice. Hello. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. Okay. For some reason, like the um. I can't believe they're charging oh. Tali Zora with such a thing. Yeah, true. I don't know why, but I they feel like. Let that human speak for Tali Zora. It's not right. Ah, shut up. Uh, I don't know why, but the Quarian sounds so much better. Well, oh, hi. Is guilty. Fuck you. Like, they sound a lot better when they have the more European accents, whereas when you give them a, an American accent, I don't know, it just it just feels a little bit wrong, you know? Whereas, like, Tali's uh, voice actress, I feel she really sells that Quarian... Ah, style, I should say. I don't know, I just think that sort of voice suits them better. Hello. Tali Zorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. So, why does this matter? I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zoravas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. Are you part of the trial? You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Well, I guess we should go in then. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? Hell yeah. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Tali Zora Vas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tali crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tali's captain, Shepard must stay. 
Objection withdrawn. Shepard West Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Hmm. Huh. What should I should I do here? Well, you know what? Let, let let's take a cudgel to the, to this situation. I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Hmm. She couldn't have done this. Like, you know, Tali is pretty... She's pretty faithful to the... to the Quarian fleet, so... How could Tali have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. Oh. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. Hmm. Let's keep taking that cudgel to it, shall we? I thought Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. If it proves her loyalty, then yeah, definitely. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tally of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alrai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Are you alright? Sorry, that, that sounded weird. But it's like, I, 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 are you alright? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. So I'm guessing we should talk to some people, right? Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Yeah, true. But I do feel it's important. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave Chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. This is one thing that really pisses me off about Mass Effect 2's writing, is that they they don't they fail to the writers fail to take into account 
every situation that you find yourself in. Like, really, I mean, they, Tali should note Garrus. I mean, they, they, they've been at it since the first game, since the very start of the first game. Why, why did they make it so that Tali doesn't acknowledge Garrus? Why doesn't Garrus interject anything within the conversations? Why, do, why don't they show their support for each other in any of these th things? Luckily, they do fix that in Mass Effect 3, which I am very happy about, but... Even though this is my favourite game in the series, if they added that touch of brilliant writing and, and forethought, then yeah, it would be some of the best writing in a game, like, ever. Probably. Probably not that far, but pretty up there. But as it stands, yeah, it leaves a lot to be de des desired, in my opinion. It's just, it's just fucking annoying, but whatever. Well to the oh. Hell yeah. How you doing, Vitor? Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Hmm. Do you want to speak for Tali? Tali could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Hmm. Can you tell us anything else about what's going on? Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. I hope you feel better, buddy. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. You're welcome there, buddy. Carl Riga. and Hafara out of control. This is on their heads. Shut up. Carl Riga. Shepard, Telizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. <laughs> Pretty straight. How you been holding up here, buddy? Have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. Seems pretty risky for Aquarian. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. Hmm. What about pr your presence on the Raya? What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Hmm. So you want to help somehow? Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. Yeah. Dark energy. Unlimited power. No, no. That's the dark size, you idiot. Anywho, let's talk about that. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy? Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's 
reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Is this a big problem? What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. So do you think the Geth did this? Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. You see, this is actually a a huge. This was this was going to be a massive plot point that was going to get expanded further on in Mass Effect Three. But when um when the actual ending was leaked, well before the game was released, they actually had to change a lot of the things in the story and the ending and the purpose of the bad guys and all that. So they never expanded upon this whole idea of dark energy and suns dying out. Which is a bit of a shame, but while you can say that the ending of Mass Effect 3 looked rushed and all that, I do feel, you know, that, that there is a lot of real subtle genius going on within it. I won't get into it now, but let's just say I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer of the indoctrination th theory. But I'm not going to rave on about that. You know, believe what you will. It could be bullshit, or it could be a could be complete genius in disguise but whatever uh goodbye we should get going good luck on the holler right stay safe out there oh my well don't you worry buddy hello zen i've never heard of you before tali zora given the circumstances are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate i'm looking for information about the holler I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Um, you kind of owe Tali as well, though. Tali was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Well, you're kind of a bit of a bitch. Um... You don't seem very interested though, do you? If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So you study AI, basically. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Yeah, it's just a bit. Um... Did I ask about the opinions on Geth? Let's try Tell it again. Your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. How does this change things, though? I do want to know about that. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That 
would favor peace then, as Charleran is too careful to risk her own neck. But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. So you think Rail was right? You support experiments on living creatures. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Uh, okay. I guess that's kind of all I want to know from someone as fanatical as you. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Uh, yeah. It human can work it out. I'll admit that much. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I can. Charleran, I want to talk to you. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Are Tali's uh, chances that bad? Are the judges that set on finding her guilty? Anything involving the Geth is a live wire, Shepard. But there is still hope. And girls greatly respects both you and Tali Zora for stopping Saren. Admiral Chorus sees the whole thing as a war crime and wants to convict. I have no idea what Admiral Zen wants. You should get to the other right soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Um, hmm. Well, I guess... I guess you can tell me about the Alarai. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zora only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. So we're going in completely blind. It, it, a shot in the dark, pretty much. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship. That's exactly what I am saying. The marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. Hmm. You might need to let, not let this get personal, Tally. Otherwise you're gonna be in quite a bit, bit of a shock. What's your relationship with Rail Zora? How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral, 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. Ah. Um, what kind of bubble? I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming up age. What about Rail? I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Riel was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Hmm, I guess. Um, why are the admirals in fighting? There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. You got that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home war. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. That's a really fucking bad idea. Just focus on colonial stuff, okay? 
I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. Hmm, I guess. What evidence will we need to prove that Tali is innocent? What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tali, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, see ya, Shala. We should move on. Good luck on the other eye. Yay. Natalia's I mean, I mean, Gar Garrus is just completely mute throughout this whole thing. If anyone can retake the Alarai, Tali Zora can. Damn right she can. Hello, Geralt. Tali. I'm glad Admiral Ram got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard? Admiral Hangaro Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though. Tally's in good hands. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, okay, so you're on Tally's side here. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving rail and active equipment for weapons, Tess, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty smart. Um... <laughs> it's pretty much more of the same stuff. But what's your history with Rail Zora? You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Oh, tell me what happened. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, we're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's rail for you. Sounds like a pretty colourful chap. Um, tell me about the other admirals, though. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? When you didn't recognize Tally as Admiral Zen, she's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. What makes him so bad, though? You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Hmm. Well, he's kind of got the right idea, and, you know, he's just thinking about the Quarian people in mind. You know, the best of intentions. But tell me about the infighting. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. Fairly risky. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. 
We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy, and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Colonies! It is kind of the best, you know, situation. You know, get, get the Citadel to, to give you some, you know, land, basically. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Hey, you got called kid, how endearing. <laughs> Garrus is just there like, Hello, I'm so lonely. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. <laughs> Do not ask about the name. <laughs> I take no pleasure in this, Talia, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. <laughs> we've, we, we've got to do it. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. So, why not leave? If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Deference or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. Yeah, that is a pretty good, you know, look at it. So why do you dislike Tali? What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Whoa. Um, yeah, kind of true. So tell me about the infighting. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. So you favor peace? Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. I... Yeah, the idea of, with, of peace with Geth is pretty nice. But, um, goodbye. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Yeah. I mean, like I said, Chorus definitely has the, um... The, the, the Quarian's interests at heart. He's just probably not so good at uh, letting that be known amongst people. You know, he's, he's just thinking about the, ra the the future of the race. Same goes for everyone. It's not really a, a matter of who's right. Well, well to the hell yeah. It's not really a matter of who's right or wrong. It's more of a matter of which is the if best way. Him, oh. Talizora's first thought is to protect the fleet. Yep. Yes, it was. But yes, yeah, it's, it's more about um just figuring out the best way. To uh, you know, the best compromise that everybody can be happy with. But you know, it's it is po politics. We don't always get that. But hi, shuttle guard. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. You know what's over there? Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alari? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of geth, though. More than there should have been. 
There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Well, more reason to get over there then, isn't it? Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Kila Selai. <laughs>